Hi, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA. Today we're going to be looking at message boxes. Message boxes are really cool. It's basically a great way to communicate with the user. Um, lots of lots of great uses to them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and insert a button here. I'm going to show you real quick. We're going to add a button because we want the message box to go off when we hit that button. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to assign a macro. We're going to assign a new macro, which goes ahead and throws at it, throws a new module in, and our macro name, which is sub rectangle two, which you'll notice that this and that is the same. Pretty clever. We're going to go ahead and dig in here. We're going to go msg box, which is the uh, name for the message box. You'll notice it pulls in the prompt, so we're going to just do prompt, so you can see where that shows up. Okay, you've got a whole bunch, whole bunch of buttons here. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to do VB OK only. We're going to do this as title, and that's really all we need. You can put in a help file if you want. You can put in context. You can put in a message results. Um, for the most part, you're just going to be putting in the prompt, the button type and the title. That's what you're going to be doing 90% of the time. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter. We're going to go back here. We're going to click on here. Notice you've got your title. Title goes there. Prompt goes there. You've got VB OK only, which gives you, and you're done. So what we're going to do here, we're going to make, we're going to do a quick little change here. So instead of VB, we're going to do VB OK, OK cancel. So it it's going to add another button, and you can probably guess what it's going to add. You've got your title, you've got your prompt, you've got OK, and you've got cancel. I'm going to do one other thing here. You also have, um, you've got different ones like abort, retry, cancel. So let's go ahead and run that one. So you basically have all those buttons. And when you click abort or retry or cancel, it's going to return a value, which we'll look at, at later on the other videos. But that's kind of a quick intro to the message box. Look at the next videos. Those are going to be, I'm going to show you how to use that now that you know how to create a message box. Should be fun. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. Please join the VBA community at everydayvba.com. And most importantly, learn VBA.